Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we will be unboxing Machine Head's brand new album of Kingdom and Crown. Let's get to it. Alright, welcome back. So Machine Head has just released a brand new album of Kingdom and Crown. And if you're a huge Machine Head fan like myself, you would have already listened to majority of the songs that were released officially by the band prior to the release of this album. So um, in terms of what this album sounds like, right from the get-go, it's amazing. I know it's a pretty generic thing to say, but this album is pretty amazing. Uh, I'm gonna get more in detail regarding that, but let's go ahead and look at the booklet and uh, see what's inside. All right. All right, the booklet looks amazing. It's uh, I actually ordered the digipack version of this album, but uh, my pre-order apparently got delayed. All the digipack versions got delayed. I'm not sure if they're gonna get released in the next day or so, but I just couldn't be bothered. So I went ahead and ended up getting the jewel case version instead. Um, for people who are interested in getting the vinyl version, uh, which I highly recommend because this album is fantastic. The vinyl version is going to get released in November. Uh, for a lot of these bands, there's a big backlog uh, when it comes to vinyl, but a lot of big bands have actually released the vinyl on time, so I'm not really sure what the scheduling issue was with Machine Head. Anyways, what this album sounds like? Well, this album sounds like a culmination of everything that Machine Head has ever done. Uh, and I'm talking all the way from Burning My Eyes to the newer stuff like um, Unto the Locust, uh, The Blackening, which is my favorite album. And um, it's it's really clever. This, this album is a very clever album done by the band. And I think during the pandemic, uh, the band utilized that opportunity, but actually work on this album. And if you're a follower of Machine Head, you would have seen that Throughout the pandemic, Jared and Rob were actually uh, in their studio and doing live shows, live streaming. Just the two of them, two of them for us fans, and which I thought was amazing. They would have these happy hours, electric happy hours and acoustic happy hours, and I think that kind of uh, really kept the band uh, in practice and didn't get rusty. And 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 Rob said that. Most of this album was written uh, at nighttime, so looks like he was awake uh, at nighttime and writing this album. And I tell you what, this album, as I said before, is fantastic. It's uh, they've really managed to pick all the best stuff they've done in the past and recently, and put it all into this album. I know Catharsis album wasn't really appreciated by a lot of fans. I loved it actually. I thought it was a great album. But this album is something else. Like this is right up there with all the big ones. Burning My Eyes and The Blackening, uh, which a lot of people love as well, including myself. Um, and yeah, so if you're on the fence and trying to figure out if you need to buy this album and if you want to pre-order their vinyl, I highly recommend it because this is going to be a classic album, a classic Machine Head album. This is a masterpiece. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this little video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, all the usual stuff. And also hit that bell button so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. So thanks again and keep it metal.